Hello guys, welcome back to Kajik Caravan. Always good to have you, and always good to do the uh, Fallout 4 playthrough. So um, without further ado, should we just get into it, shall we? I will say, if you are liking this video, just if you could give me just a cheeky like, very much appreciate as always. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead, man, you know, it's all good. But yeah, let's go, shall we? Let's go. Right, I can't remember if we had a level up on the last video. I think we did. Must I think we did level up actually, just before I left the episode. I'm pretty sure. These Saltron man, these guys are badass man. Badass, some tough ones in the wasteland. Trust me. But also the um, the sentries are my worst enemy. I hate the sentry bots, man. Oh my god, the tanks, man. But when you've got a mini nuke, <laughs> no problem. Fucking one shot everything. <clears throat> right, come on then, let's have the fucking load in. Need some SSD action on this one, I'm telling you. Right. Now, I think I did do a cheeky one last night and just kind of, um, or yesterday, and just tidied up a few things, if I remember. Um... Yeah, I think I tied up some quests to get the list a bit smaller, so... Uh, da, 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 da. Right, these, if you look here, this miscellaneous stuff, so that's going to be ongoing. That one there. Collect the technical documents, that's ongoing shit. Uh, that's just pick up a, a, an issue of the newspaper in Diamond City, so... And then check the detective cases, I will do that. Uh, I'm not sure if that's linked to Far Harbour DLC, it might be. I'm not sure, might not be actually there. And then Museum of, Museum of Witchcraft. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Let's investigate that, won't we? Um, well, do you know what? Since we. Let's have a look. The thing is, I think these are these quests are repeating quests, I'm sure they are, because I keep clearing away and then come back to President Garvey and he says, a new settlement. So I'm going to leave those alone because they to be, seem to be keep you know, seem to be happening all the time, you know. So let's let's do this some of these miscellaneous ones, all right? So I'm gonna do the check the detective, detective cases. So yeah. Let's go and do that. Go back to Diamond City. Just on a bit of a clean up run now, you know what I mean? Again there's the old combat armor. It's a good that's good armor actually, it's a really good armor. Some of the best in the ways, man. If you're like me and don't like using the old, um, what do you call it? Power armor. I don't like using it, man. It's so sluggish and, yeah, not for me. And plus, I want to see my character. You know, look, I don't put Probably. all this effort for nothing, you know? Some guy came into town, said he picked up a weird distress call in the Cambridge ruins. Oh, did he? Okay. Well, where's my map marker then? Okay. All right, let's go and speak to Valentine. Hold a minute, a quick word of Atoro. If you're thinking safety, a long-range rifle lets you stay in cover and out of sight. Okay, man. But you might But wanna... you can just shut the fuck up for a minute. Sure. Let's take a look. Everything hand to. Yep, yep, yep. Right, ammo. What ammo you got? What ammo, ammo, ammo? Right. Let's see what you got. So... Fusion, I don't want that. I want missiles, definitely. Fucking cheap, aren't they? 54 for one. That's not bad. How much for nine then? 486. Yeah, we'll have them. Yeah, yeah, we'll have them. And also, have we got any mini nukes? No, of course you haven't. <laughs> this fucker sells a fat boy, though. He sells a fat boy which shoots out one extra um, mini nuke when you shoot one. Well, he normally always has it. Let's have a look. Big boy. There we go. Look. Shoots an additional projectile, so it shoots two mini nukes for the price of one. But you might say well, that's worth getting. Then yeah, but sometimes you might only want to shoot one. Most of the time I just want to shoot one because you know what I mean. If you're in a closed space, you shoot two of them, you're dead, man. So yeah, <clears throat> okay, let's accept that. Cheers, mate. Right, let's go and speak to old uh, prick swatter, Valentine. Swatter. See, I told you. I knew he said it. Swatter, swatter, swatter. Thank God he Need said it. Right. It's only taking like 40 episodes. 
All right, what are you looking at? Yeah. All right, knock, knock. Swatter, swatter, swatter. I'm Ooh, glad you're swatter. here. We got a new case go. while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Um, depends. Who's the client? Who's our client? A fisherman whose family lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. Kenji okay. Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do yeah, that. Nick. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Okay. Now, I know for a fact this is the um, Far Harbor DLC. This is not the main game. So, and they're fucking tough. They've got them um, fishmen or well tough enemies. So, um, we're not going to do this. Not now. Uh, yeah, not now. I'm busy right now. I'll check on this later. Suit yourself. Right, so we've got to check the detective cases still. Okay, so we've got... Good to be back in Diamond City. Yep, nice one. Marty Finch case, Marty Bullfinch, is that what it is? The Marty Bullfinch case. Marty was Nick's partner. Emphasis on the was. He must have been some kind of desperate to come to us for help after all this time. Well, Marty and I never exactly saw eye to eye. Mostly because he was usually passed out on the barroom floor. Gotcha. Oh, come on, Nick. Think of the good times. What, when he quit? This place has a kind of song to it. You listen, you can hear people's lives and problems as they rush on by. Anyway, okay. And they've got another case. Is that one as well, isn't it? I think this is a case far more. Yeah. Ready for that, that new case? There we go. Right. Earl Sterling. I've never done this before. Do you know that? I've literally never done this. I'm sure I haven't. Right. Disappearance. Client Vadim Bobrov. He's the guy in the um he's the guy that runs a dugout in in here, uh, the in Diamond City, the bar basically. <clears throat> okay. Another disappearing act to unravel. Uh, Earl Sterling. Okay. Twenty five year old bartender at the dugout in. There we go. Uh, one of the owners Vadim Vadim Bobrov. Okay. Notice that Earl hadn't been into work for a few days. Okay. Right, I, like, I like these. These are good. Obtain the key. Yeah, we've got to do that, haven't we? Right, let's... Uh, this is interesting. Yeah, I like doing this. Let's do a bit of the old, you know, detective work. So, let's do that one. Uh, what about the other one? Has it appeared on my list? Hold on, what about the other case? Oh, yeah, that one. Let's just do that and listen to Marty's holotape. Okay. Oh, fuck's sake. All right, let's listen to this holotape, shall we? Just get the other quest going. All right, Marty's holotape. Uh, where is it? Where is it, Marty? Of that noise, <laughs> had a few bags on the way, right? Okay, so that's that. We've got the quest started up for that now. Okay, we've done that, right? So that's it. Cool, just want to get that quest started, right? Let's get going. Oh, 
Ну, каком? Right, we're gonna go and do the Earl one first, which is okay. Got to obtain his keys. So I want to get the key. I want to do that if I can. So hold on. Let me just zoom into here. Oh, for fuck's sake! All right, where's the key? How do I get the key then? I keep doing that. I hate that. I keep pressing R two to zoom in. Um, right, let's have a look at the key. Then which one's the key? Right, so that's his house. You read that article? In public occurrences? Not yet, no. Damn sense could be anywhere. Okay. Uh, so this is his house here. Yeah, cool. Oh, it's a novice lock as well. Hmm. But I want to try and get the key if I can. Swatter, swatter, swatter. Hmm. Let's go and see if Vadim, Vadim Bobarov, Borobos, Borobor, whatever. Let's see if he's got a key. <clears throat> Dim, I need to talk. You Just see, the Russian man. I am in middle of story. So then, I am crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk! A Come mire lurk! Come on! That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Redeem! Oh, I forgot you were there, Yakfin. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Okay, no problem. Can I See speak this to bar? You? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. <coughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. All right. Earl Sterling, please. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Just Such like that. Such a bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. There you Here, go. I hope you find out what happened. I Security hope so. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. Anyway, you look like you need a drink. Uh, this is your bar. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. Well, that's we good to know, because best. my friend Boris would like a drink, you know? Rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking. <laughs> I'll take a look, sure. Music to my ears. Actually, I actually don't want to drink, but um, oh look, Bobrov's best moonshine. I wonder how strong this is. Well, it gives you charisma, strength, but it lowers your intelligence. Hmm. No, I don't want that. I don't want that shit, mate. It's all good. I'm not sure if we've done the quest with him. And uh, let me go and speak to his brother, Vadim Yafim Selim Belim. Oh, whatever. Fun. Customer. Need a room? Uh, there you go, look, I've got a speech check. Did you know Earl Sterling? One of my brother's old friends. There you go. Boy, the way those two would go on about girls, you'd think Vadim is loud now. Earl was a horrible womanizer, and I warned him more than once to leave the staff and customers alone. But my brother always stood up for him. Honestly, kind of glad he's gone. He wouldn't shut up about the new face he was going to get at the major surgery center. Vain till the end. Anyway, did you want a room? No, but I want to ask you about the dugout inn. What's the story with this place? Not much to say. We sell food, drink, and rooms. Mainly for traders that come to the area. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waitress, and she helps me keep the rooms clean. As much as they can be. Okay then, so uh, maybe I'm not interested. I'll think about it. Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Right, so we speak to a Russian man. He give us key, and now we're going to the house. Yeah, you know. All right, let's go and have a, a butcher's hook, shall we? God, even 
the sky isn't safe. Did you see that? Swatter, swatter, swatter. Okay, I've got a key now, so you can't say I'm breaking in, right? Earl Sterling. Hey, Earl. Sounds like a right old um, Alabama person. Right. Right, this place is a fucking shithole. Mind you, he tried to make it nice with the old nut there. No, I'm joking, I'm not speaking like that. All right, cool, so stim pack, blood pack. Any other pack? Uh, melon, oh, who loves a good melon, eh? I do. Two big ones, okay. What have we got here? Man, can you imagine, like, this is fucking lethal. Imagine, like, you roll out of bed one night, just boom, 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 boom. Fuck me, sod that. Take that. Take that, I don't know. Could it be magic? They just fall down there. Oh shit! All right. Coffee pot. Look, Mr. Coffee Pot again. <laughs> Me and that coffee pot been through hell together, man. Okay, so what have we got, man? What have we got here? Eh? Let's have a look. Um, we're just searching for clues, aren't we? I think. What was that? Bucket watch. Hmm. All right. Let me see. I can't see nothing suspicious in here. Uh, it's going to be up here, isn't it? Is it? I don't even know. Well, we'll look, what we're we looking for here? We're just looking at this house, aren't we? Right, for clues, okay. So, clues, clues, clues. Hmm. I wonder if that mat's got like a secret trapdoor underneath it. It's worth a try, anyway. No. Nah. Right, we're looking for clues, so. Hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Inspector Gadget. Alright, what's he got? He's got like, can I just oh, let's take, take, take? Okay, I don't want to take it. I want to examine or something. Oh, hold up, hold up. What have we got down here? I didn't even see that. Here we go. Surgery receipt. Mm. Right, this guy's been, what's he been up to? Eh? Mega surgery centre, okay. Dr. Crocker is a crocker shit. Uh, resident surgeon. Okay, one reconstruction surgery facial. So he's had a facial reconstruction. Interesting, so we can't recognise him. Clever boy. Procedure to be performed upon clearance of final instalment payment. Okay. Right, so we're going to visit our old doctor. Yes, I know where that guy is. Dodgy little bastard. Hmm. We won't be able to recognize his face because he's going to look different, so different now. That's the problem. That is the problem. All right, let's go and have a look. Yeah, the doctor is that doctor guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's him, isn't it? Of course it is. Yep, there he is. Right, you dodgy bastard. Talk to me. Doctor. This better be an emergency. Oh, it is. I found a receipt in a room. Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk mm. cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Now, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. Uh, no, you can assist all you want. I'm going to try and go for it. We've got nine charisma buff at the moment. Let's try it, shall we? Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, yes. he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Yeah, of course. Anyway, yeah. we should get back to your immediate medical requirements. I don't think we should. I think you can just... Oh, hold on. Shall I ask him that? Access to the cellar. We're going to sneak in there anyway. I'm going to ask him. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? You know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? 
Oh, here we go. I can threaten to blow his fucking face off or investigate missing person now. <sighs> People don't take kindly to threats, do they? Mm, I might I could bribe him. That's the easy. 100 caps. That's the easy option. Isn't it? Uh, I mean, come on. Like, let's just try it. Are uh, you hard of I'm investigating a missing person, doctor. And I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? You're talking Boom. about Earl. Aren't you? We got it. We got it. You yes. can't honestly think. You know what? Fine. If it'll put the matter to rest, here, go see for yourself. Okay, but if cool. I find one instrument out of place, you'll be getting the bill. No problem, mate. I didn't think that was going to work, to be honest. But look, oh my God, see the fucking blood there. Look, tracks of blood examined. Where'd all this blood come from? It goes right into the basement. Yeah. Interesting, right? Okay, let's go and have a little look. Here. See, I'm glad we've done that because that could have been a um, oh, a hard lock. Uh, you've you've really been a handful, you know. Shit. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, what has he naughty. done? You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. Jesus, what's he done, man? A fucking madman. Fucking blood everywhere, look. Got fucking lo oh my god. Um right, dude, what are you doing, man? What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. Yeah, it, was, right. uh, it was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. Good patients get a nice right. Oh, sorry, I pressed the button by mistake. Whoops. Okay, um, Earl's death. So you were performing surgery and Earl didn't make it. Is that it? I, uh, might have had just a bit of jet before operating. Jesus so Christ. I a few arteries I shouldn't have. Who oh, hasn't? fucking hell. But I'm a problem solver, you see. I knew if Earl disappeared, everyone would just think the Institute took him. Oh, my God. Right. I've got to arrest him, haven't I? Trying, I'm going to try and... Oh, my violence. Oh, my God. Uh, let's try this. You made a mistake, but you can still do the right thing, Doctor. Just think this through. You're... You're right. There's one thing I can do. <laughs> Only one thing is going to make this all better. I can fix anything. <laughs> Oh my god, he says kill he tops himself. What's going on here? Is I didn't kill him. Is that Dr. Crocker? Yeah, I didn't kill him. Dude. I think you where are you going? I'm reporting this. Hold god. up, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this mess. Hold on, I didn't fucking kill him. Dude. Hey Doc. I have to clean up this mess. I didn't kill the bastard. Jesus Christ. Okay, take your house key. Take that key, take that. Take that. Why are you carrying a melon for? Uh, lab coat. What does lab coat give you? Mind you, it's a dirty lab coat anyway. All right, cool. Jesus Christ, here's Oh, look. Oh, my God. What the fuck happened to Oh? Oh, man. Let me just put your head on the table. Let me just speak to you. Oh, man. What has he done to you? Motherfucker. Cut me to pieces, the piece of shit. Oh, man. Oh, fuck me. Oh, look, he's got fucking hell. There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing left of him. Jesus Christ. Facial reconstruction, more like fucking full body construction. Oh, my God. Look at these flappy bits of fucking stumps, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, man, you've been... There's no need for that, was there, eh? Well, let me do a decent thing and um, try and piece you back together. So that arm goes there. Okay, I'm going to try and put this guy back together again. So it's not fair, is it? Right, let's try and do that. Let's try and... <laughs> right, oh. There's your head. Right. Oh. Did you hear that bone just go... Dunk. There's your body. Right. Um, which arm is that? I can't even tell anymore. Uh, that one is the... Oh, no, that arm's... Yeah, okay, that arm's on there already anyway, so... That's that arm there. Cool, okay, so just your legs. 
Man, he fucking done a number on you, didn't he, eh? Oh, God, he's fucking... There you go. See, we're piecing it back together, man. Don't mind me, Doc. I'm just kind of just... Yeah, I want a foot in the face. <laughs> oh, you got blood on you. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me just... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to piece them together, yeah? I'm doing the honourable thing, man. Uh, and that leg goes there like that. There you go. There's... Oh, as good as new, man. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Jeez, I've done a number on him, man. Right, I'm going to report this to uh, Nick Valentine. Hey, you bet I think those Bobrov brothers are looking for you. You better not report me, though, because I ain't done fucking... I ain't done nothing right here. Ready for that new case? Uh, not yet. I'm a little busy right now, Ellie. Oh, all right. What? Sure. <laughs> but I want to report. Oh, can I report? Miss Perkins. Think. Ready for that new case? No. Um. Oh, well, let's just hear it. More. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Yeah, you told us. Maybe yeah, if yeah. you bother. Mm -hmm. Can't yeah, do yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Huh. I'll remember that. But Mr. Nakano didn't leave many. But okay. if you want my guess. Okay. Oh, God. So I have to take this quest in order to... I can't report the case, can I? For fuck's sake. Go on Anything then. you can... Just some impression. Uh -huh. I'm a friend of Nick's. Sure. He was... Uh -huh. I'll right, go I'm check it, it out. Okay. The Nakano resident. It's a yeah, long yeah. walk. All right. All right, anyway, I'm not doing that. I want to ask you about the other case. Oh. Sorry about that. Yeah, have your coffee pot back, you know. We should just, head over to the Nakano residence when we can. There you go. Find out what right. their case Ellie. is about. So, you find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Yes, right at last. I can talk to him. Okay, so let's... Do Crocker killed him. Chopped to bits. Oh, my God. Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. He's actually rotting in the basement, his own basement. He's rotting, he killed himself, yeah. Crocker killed himself. Couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. Can't no believe problem, Dr. Man. Crocker killed Earl. So, well, that's good. I'm not getting fucking. Be careful when you head over to the Nakano residence. That whole area Listen, is pretty isolated. I'm not doing fucking Nakano yet. There's no way. I'm nowhere near ready for that. Hey, do you want your coffee pot? I dropped it on the um. Yeah. So Crocker went do amateur this? butcher on poor Earl. Moments like this, I'm glad I'm not made of meat. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Right, so there you go. That's Earl, man. Earl's fucking gone. Right, the Vadim brothers want to speak to me. I know exactly what that's regarding. What's this hey now? There, lady. All right. I want to be go left on. alone. Yeah, go on then. Go away. Don't fucking. Well, I'm not bothering you, am I? Okay, let's. Where's the dugout in again? I've gone right past him. Uh, where's the fucking dog at him again? <laughs> oh, it's down this way, maybe. No, hold up. Why have I, why am I being such a dickhead? Oh no, it's over this side, that's why. The dog out in is behind here, I'm sure it is. Yes, it is. Here we go. Swara, swara, swara. I'm gonna see if I can tell him about Earl just to say, look, listen, mate, your your guy's been chopped up into pieces. He's seen better days, you know. That's just what I heard. Oh, oh here we go. Try it, Yiffy. All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio. It's terrible, yes? 
Makes you want to cut your own ears off. Um, do you want an answer from me? I disagree. Well, I hadn't noticed. Disagree. It's not that bad. Bah! You don't know what you're talking about. This DJ Travis, he is bad for our business. Travis is alright, man. Leave him. all the customers unhappy, so we must turn off radio. But Tim... It's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. <laughs> yeah, right, mate. Well, he's better than fucking Free Dog. Jesus Christ, that guy got my head in. Um, serious? Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. Oh, yes, First, but that's a bit too extreme. You follow you out of town. All oh, right, that's enough. My name isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. I'm not stupid. Trust me, he's a bastard. Um, I'm not stupid. I'm not you? stupid. I wasn't falling for it. We weren't trying to trick you or anything. Vadim just likes to joke. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking prick. <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis Only jokes. Is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis. He, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job, or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Right, so uh, we need to turn it around, really. Or the lost cause, uh, Well, yes. that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, Fim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. You there. Come, you. Meet me in we back room. We need to have a conversation. Confidence? What the fuck? Who are you, dude? Do I know you? Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm oh, always okay. looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous okay. situations. I'll tell you now, guys, I play Fallout loads. And I've never seen this guy before. This is what the fuck. Um, what's the job, man? What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous. I don't remember this and guy. you'll be paid fairly. Okay, I don't know. What's the reward, man? I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Okay, um, I don't... The name rings a bell, though. I must have done this quest, but I just don't remember that ghoul, man. That fucking armored up ghoul. Wow, I just don't remember him. That Whatever name, though, that... Want, yeah, 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 shut wow. up. That name rings a bell, though, Jack Cabot. I'm, I'm sure I've done that, a quest involving that guy. Anyway, let's see what this crazy Russian bastard wants from me. What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves Compare the Meerkat.com. Alexander the Meerkat. That's who he is, man. I'm telling you. Uh, details. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Need a date, man. Bar fight? Uh, yes. Haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. <laughs> Excellent, because you are going to help Travis win his first fight. Uh, I want to stage. What was that about? <laughs> Is that a fucking ghost? We make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. Help make it look real. Think? Sound good to you? Um, yeah, go on then. Go on. I'm then. on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People like you have contacts. Is the CompareTheMeerkat.com. They will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. 
nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? Simples. I have everything. I told you, he's a meerkat, man. Travis Simples. <laughs> you show up and it will go well. All right. Promise. I'm going to cut this dude now. Okay, then. Simples. <laughs> Compared to the meerkat. It's definitely him, isn't it? I'm telling you, him and his brother, right? Oh my God, just realized. Boom, my mind's just blown. It's compared to the meerkat, the two of them, isn't it? It's Alexander and him, man. Compare the meerkat.com. Let's have a look. It's them two. Oh, back room. Here we go. Let me just shut the door, get a bit of privacy in here. What is this, man? Terminal. Okay. Do you know what? I'm going to do a little sneaky one here. If I can do it with like three hits, otherwise I'm gone. Warms. Uh, macho. No. So warms, let's try farms then. Right, I'm going to give this a couple of goes, right? And I'm going to leave it because flask. Ah, oh, fuck me. Um, is this works? No, it's not. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We might just get it just by random. No. Fuck. Right. Third time lucky yet. Watch this. I hope so. Glory. Morning glory. Nope. Um, fuck's sake. Uh, raise. There we go. Boom. Look at that. Third time. Right. Okay. What's this guy up to? Please clean up. Please at least do your part of the cleaning and keep up the bar. Keep the bar tidy. Scarlet already cleans half the rooms, the tables, the patio. I do the rest. May I remind you that I'm not your mother. <laughs> Brilliant. I like it. You tell him, man. We are running a hotel, yes? People pay to sleep here. It's closing the bar at the same time every night. Not possible. <laughs> Sometimes guests are still here laughing at the bar class. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing really um, exciting here. Uh, so, okay, so basically... He pays the bills, though. Jesus Christ, man. This yeah, thing's all right, man, but... Vadim is a bit of a bitch, man. Yeah, he's a bit of a... This Vadim's a bit of a, a prick, actually. We'll take that. Um, what else? Right, let's fucking go, shall we? We have see too much charm in here, I'm telling you. Okay. Right, we've got no active quest at the moment, so let's... Uh, special delivery, interesting. Right, this Travis thing, I'm not doing it yet. All it is, I've done this quest before, you just got to, yeah, stage a fight and help beat up, beat up the guys and blah, blah, blah. What time is it now, actually, in a way? Uh, where's the time on this thing? It's... I'm sure the time is here somewhere. There you go, 12.40 a.m. No, we're not doing it right. We're not doing that now. Um, anyway, let's go and do this one. The Gilded Grasshopper. I've never done this, I don't think. I don't think I've ever done this quest. I don't remember this. The Gilded Grasshopper. Hmm. Let me see, shall we? Oh, hold on. I was 12 midnight. Okay, sorry. Such a dickhead. Shoot people, lady. My dad says right. outside to shoot people. You can, can you just fuck off? Thank you. Um, right, where is it? How far is it? Um, okay, it's up here. Right, we've been there, so that's good. Okay, we go there then. Cool. Let's have a look, shall we? See if we see any more than meerkats. That is like an oversized machine gun in it. Come on, I mean, what is that big old fucking exhaust pipe doing on there, man? Like, fuck me, that's not needed, is it? Surely. <laughs> it's overkill, that is. Come on, man, this. Fucking loading. All you do is loading, loading, loading. Bloody hell. Fuck. Come on, come on, come on. 
Vadim and Yashim and Khrasim and Hashim. Come on, man. Fucking hell. Loading, loading, loading. Jesus Christ. Hooray. Oh, God, it's a dangerous place, isn't it? Shit, I'm not this place. It's fucking full of super mutants. <clears throat> yeah, shit, speak of the devil. Uh, dude, can I just have a word with you? Cheers. Just wanted you to say hello to my little friend. Right, let's get out of here for um Oh shit, that didn't sound good. Right, let's just uh oh god fucking skeletons in here man. Right, right there, we're gonna stop right there because do you know why? I've just seen the time, it's forty minutes running so far, so uh, let's not take the piss now, shall we? Right, cool. So that's been an interesting episode, isn't it? Poor old fucking Earl though, man. Jesus Christ, he was an Earl sandwich, wasn't he? Um, wow, yeah, cool. So we do the, uh, what's it called, the grasshopper? What's it called? Hold on a minute, one second. What was it called? The, yeah, the Gilded Grasshopper. All right, we're going to find out what that is in the next episode, guys, because uh, that's interesting. Next former partner, that's going to be a good little quest to do, isn't it? Right, so, guys, thanks for watching, and if you don't mind, give it a little cheeky like. If you like the content, give it a little like. If you don't, then you don't have to. I'm not going to force it down your throat, you know. You know the old drill. Um... Yeah, all right, guys. Well, um, I'll see you on the next one. And cool. Take care.